Hi, Norman Goldman here. Thanks for being with me on the video version of the Norman Goldman Show. I want to spend a moment with you on state government and federal government. When the United States first started, we started with the Constitution. In those days, in the 1780s, the states had all the power. The federal government had very little power. The states realized that that wasn't working. So the states all got together and they gave up some of their power to the new United States government. They gave up the power of a post office. There's no Pennsylvania post office. There's no Texas post office. There's only the United States post office. That's because the states said we want to do it that way. The states gave up the power to run their own bankruptcy courts. There's no California bankruptcy court. There's the United States bankruptcy court. It's to give commerce, to give business a uniform set of rules around the country for bankruptcy purposes. And the states gave up their power to do international relations. The state of California, where I live, cannot negotiate a nuclear arms treaty with Russia. Only the United States government can. It's because the states said, we're going to give up some of our powers to the new United States government to work on behalf of all of us. But the United States government, under the Constitution, was designed to be a government of limited powers. Now, what that has done is to create kind of two parallel systems of government. And a lot of people get confused that way. And it's understandable. Each state is kind of like a miniature United States government. California, for example, has a governor. He's like a president. And we have a state legislature. We have a lower house, the assembly, and an upper house, the state senate. If you look at the United States government in Washington, D.C., there's a president, there's a house of representatives, and the United States Senate. Every state except for one, Nebraska, that doesn't have this system. I'll get to Nebraska in a second. And what the states do is a lot of the stuff that affects our lives. States pave the roads. States deal with garbage collection. States deal with animal control. States deal with divorce. States deal with the highway patrol, right? Speeding on the roads. There is no national highway patrol. I've never been pulled over by the federal highway patrol because there is none. The federal government does those things that were assigned to it, like run the post office, run the bankruptcy courts, run international foreign relations, that kind of thing. So there were two parallel systems because that's the way we set it up. It's called federalism. Now, I mentioned Nebraska a second ago. They have what's called a unicameral legislature. Una meaning one, right? Unicameral, meaning their state legislature is just one house. They have a governor and they have a state house, and it's nonpartisan. All the other 49 states have two houses and a governor. So understand that when you're starting to think about government, the first thing you should do, the very first thing, is split off federal or state. When you hear Washington, D.C., automatically federal government. When you hear United States Senator, automatically federal government. When you hear U.S. House of Representatives, automatically federal government. Each state designs its own government its own way, but all of them have a governor and a state house of representatives and a state senate. We haven't even started talking about the counties and cities. We'll do that another time. Thanks for being with me on the video version of the Norman Goldman Show.